guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a parallelogram and the fact that this angle A plus this angle B is equal to 90 degrees. We're also given this side is equal to five and the diagonal is equal to 10. This is day seven of the 2025 Advent calendar. For the month of December, we're gonna try to solve 31 Katrina Ag puzzles in 31 days. As of right now, I'm two weeks behind schedule. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, let's extend this line here and then drop this line perpendicular to the first line. And we can focus on our new triangle. We know that the hypotenuse of this triangle is the same thing as this side here. So it's equal to five. And then we also know this angle up here. We're given that A plus B is a right angle, or in other words, they add up to 90 degrees. The acute angles in a right triangle also add up to 90 degrees. Since this angle is equal to B, this angle has to be equal to A. And then we can label the base of our triangle X and the height of the triangle Y. And now we have two similar triangles. It'll be easier to see if we line them up next to each other. Let's copy all this down here, focus on this triangle and rotate it over here. And then we can copy down this triangle. We can show that these two triangles are similar. Let's clean this up down here. And since this angle is equal to A, we know that this angle has to be B, since we were given A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. Now these two triangles have three corresponding congruent angles. That means they are similar triangles. And now we can set up a proportion with their corresponding sides. We can do the base over the hypotenuse equals the base over the hypotenuse. Or in other words, y over 10 equals x over five. From here, let's multiply both sides by 10. On the left-hand side, these tens will cancel each other out and we're gonna be left with y. Does that make sense, y? And then on the right-hand side, 10x divided by five is equal to two x. So we know y is equal to two x. That means we can change this y into 2x, this y into 2x, and this y into 2x. And there's still one more thing we can do with the fact that these are similar triangles. In this triangle, the base is half of the height. Same thing is gonna happen in this triangle. The base will be half of the height. Since this base is equal to 2x, the height will be 4x. And the height of this triangle is the same thing as all of this. Let's bring this back to this so you can see it clearly. Since the whole thing is equal to 4x and this is equal to 1x, this portion will equal 3x. Now that we have a base and a height, let's write a formula for the area of our parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. The base is equal to 3x and the height is equal to 2x. And then three times two is equal to six and x times x is equal to x squared. So the area of this parallelogram is equal to six x squared. Now we just gotta try to solve for x. And we can do that with this right triangle right here. Let's do the Pythagorean theorem. It'll be x squared plus the quantity 2x squared equals five squared. On the left-hand side for the first term, we can copy down the x squared. And then for the second term, the square will go to both of these. So we're gonna end up with two squared x squared. Two squared is equal to four, so this is four x squared. x squared plus four x squared is equal to five x squared. And then on the right-hand side, five squared is equal to 25. We can divide both sides of the equation by five, and that'll leave us with x squared is equal to five. And now we're ready to plug it into the area formula. In the place of this x squared, we can plug in five. Six times five is equal to 30. Let's give it a label of square units and put a box around it. This is the answer to our question. In this given diagram, the area of the parallelogram is 30 square units. How exciting. And here's the question for day eight. We're given a large semicircle with two semicircles right here. It's asking us what is the area of the large semicircle? This looks like it'll be a fun one. I can't wait to see the video. How exciting.